Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today a positive video. Yes, not a anti-vegan video, but a pro-animal foods video. Finally. It's time. In today's video, I want to disclose what benefits I experience since reintroducing the animal foods. First and foremost, the most important thing that I noticed straight away after eating eggs and fish was mental clarity. An absolute sense of ease, just this satisfaction with basically being, just existing felt great again. On the vegan diet, the baseline was always negative. The cup was always half empty and somehow I had to convince myself that everything will be all right. But on the meat-based diet, I just feel genuinely pretty good all the time. A genuine state of happiness. That is the most important thing and the greatest benefit right off the bat. And as you can see, I'm a lot happier. Second would be an improvement in tooth health. When I was vegan, I was suffering for months. I was going to the dentist, I have to laugh here, three times per week to fix all my roots. Root canal treatment, crowns and whatnot. Drilling after drilling, trying to save my teeth. When I went to the dentist, they told me that they've only seen gums like mine in 60 or 70 year old patients. No joke. But this is not a anti-vegan video, right? Now my gums recovered and my teeth feel good again. Back in the day, I couldn't eat any apples anymore. I couldn't drink any cold drinks. It would hurt. My teeth were horribly sensitive. All of that just passed. In the matter of two months or so, my tooth health recovered. A great benefit, needless to say. Benefit number three, bowel movements. Yes, when I was vegan, I was running to the toilet up to 14 or 16 times per day. This is no joke. Constant diarrhea. Every morning before breakfast, I would go to the toilet four times. Four times after waking up just shitting my guts out. But again, not an anti-vegan video. Nowadays, I go to the toilet once, maybe twice. That's about it. Not much comes out. No, it's not the meat rotting in my colon. This is not it, guys. It is that 80 to 90% of the animal foods gets absorbed. With the plant matter, on the other hand, it is the exact opposite. 80% gets excreted. Benefit number four, libido. Yes, straight away an increased libido. When I was vegan, I really couldn't care less if I had sex or not. Most of the time, I would be absolutely disinterested in sex. Or rather eat, watch series, or just sleep. Nowadays, my libido is back to its full potential again. Back in the day, I truly thought those are symptoms of old age. Can't be the vegan diet, right? Must be that I'm in my 30s now. This is why I don't have that sex drive as I used to. Complete bullshit. Now that I'm eating animals again, my sex drive returned to its normal state. And of course, I'm very thankful for that. Many people do not see it whilst on the vegan diet. They truly assume that it's just old age. I hear that story over and over again. It's very sad, actually. Benefit number five, the gym. The greatest feeling you can get in a gym or the most satisfying feeling you can get in the gym is the pump. Finally, I don't feel like killing myself when I'm in the gym. As a vegan, I'm not saying that you cannot build muscle on a vegan diet. Of course, people do. Is it as effective as a meat-based diet? No, of course not. You don't have the same amino acid profile. You don't have the same building blocks. It's just that easy. This is why you don't see top vegan bodybuilders. 
Nima Delgado is posing in board shorts. That is not a top level bodybuilder. If you're talking about IFBB, pro heavyweight athletes, you won't see a vegan. No chance in hell. When I was vegan, I was working out religiously. I had to work out every single day just to stay in shape. It was a constant struggle to keep the body composition in check. The body always wanted to store fat. The body always wanted to get rid of muscle because the plant-based diet is not favorable for muscle building at all. Don't fool yourself. It is a joke. When you are eating meat, you will feel the difference. All of those beneficial building blocks that you find in meat, vegans try to replicate. Of course, be it creatine or be it simple protein powders. You always need to compensate and the results are still not as good as on the meat-based diet. So therefore, benefit number five, strength improvement, drive is there, an aggression in the gym, a determination is back again, an absolute willingness to force your body through gruesome exercise. As a vegan, I felt like dropping the weights, go to the mat and do some yoga. Overall, I just felt weak. Which brings me to the next benefit, an overall feeling of strength and power. Back in the day as a vegan, I felt weak constantly, not only in the gym, but on a daily basis, I would feel incompetent. Everything was a chore. Everything was hard for me. Every little activity I had to rethink. Should I eat beforehand? Should I bring some food with me? I feel so weak right now. Oh my god, I have to run to the toilet again. I always felt drained. I always felt weak. Low energy, sleepiness. All of that is gone. My mental faculties and my physical strength is back to its normal state. Again, not a sign of old age. So many people here on this channel will tell me, Bobby, you're getting old. Bullshit, guys. All it takes is proper food. Benefit number six, enjoying my meals. Yes, you would think, yeah, Bobby, you just like to eat animals and this is why you enjoy your meals nowadays. No, not at all. Actually, as a kid, I hated animal foods. I talked about this on this channel. I really wasn't a fan of butter or eggs or dairy or anything on those lines. But after reintroducing those foods, my body constantly craves them. I'm constantly craving fats, the animal fats. I can't get enough of butter, egg yolks, fatty fish, fatty meat. I can't get enough. And I'm satisfied whilst eating them. As a vegan, I couldn't see the food anymore. Looking at tofu, looking at beans, looking at greens, any vegetable, any fruit, just made me feel depressed. My body naturally became opposed to those foods. It would tell me, please, Bobby, please do not feed me any more of that gunk. No more of that man-made food. I cannot see it anymore. Please give me real food. Now I feel how my body is thankful for the nutrition that I am providing. It is absolutely beautiful. You sit down, you enjoy your meal and you feel satisfied. After every single vegan meal, I would feel hungry. I would constantly eat. You see it on other vegan YouTube videos. I don't have to tell you that. People are constantly stuffing themselves just to feel somewhat satisfied. Nobody truly does. You're constantly hungry because your body wants the micronutrients. You're not getting any. Instead, you're just pushing down sugar. Constant macronutrient input. It doesn't help. It doesn't resolve the underlying issues which are a desperate need for animal fats for micronutrients. After every single vegan meal, I would feel depressed. I would feel sad even and hangry. Super, super hangry. All day would resolve around food planning, waiting for food, having the next meal. Sometimes I would sit here, record a YouTube video and stop it 
to go eat, come back and record it afterwards because I was starving on a constant basis. Nowadays that is out of the window. Two meals per day are really really satisfying. The only reason why I'm eating more is to bulk up. But my body doesn't require more than two solid meals. Two solid animal based meals. Benefit number seven, my skin. Absolute recovery of dry skin. I'm lucky, I never had any acne or anything on those lines. But my skin dried out. Constant dry hands and wrinkles everywhere. Wrinkles around my eyes, super dry skin. All of that is gone. It took round about three months for the recovery. In my little sister, and I'm so happy to witness this, it cleared up after a couple of days of eating eggs. The poor girl, end of her 20s, start developing wrinkles everywhere. Now her face is filling up again. She's getting that smooth, soft, baby looking skin. It is absolutely beautiful. You can just see how crucial it is to give this human machine proper nutrition, to give this human machine those animal fats that it truly requires to be healthy. Those animal fats and the animal proteins are crucial for hair, skin and nails of course. Those are the main benefits for me. But there is a last benefit that is an accumulation of all of those benefits. It is that I feel like myself again. I feel like I'm getting a second chance at life. For the people that have been following this channel, you know that I was terminally ill in 2011. I got so sick that I was suicidally depressed. I really thought that I'm gonna die, that my life came to an end. Back then, magic mushrooms gave me a second lease on life. Through veganism, I came to the same spot in life again. I thought I'm dying, unproductive, absolutely no life force left. Veganism drained the life out of me in the end. I felt this life is not worth living anymore. I remember when I was telling my girlfriend and my sister that I just don't want to keep on going anymore. That it is pointless, that there is no sense in life, no joy. Meanwhile, I'm living in Thailand, next to the beach. I have a beautiful girlfriend, I have beautiful family members and friends surrounding me in my life on a daily basis. And I couldn't see that beauty anymore. This is why I took health in my own hands again. This is why I made the choice to break out of the vegan dogma and to reintroduce the animal foods. Thank God I did. Thank God I had a little bit of self-trust left. Self-trust that led me to experimentation. Thank God I did it. My depression faded away. And this is what I truly wish to anybody out there. If you are experiencing any of those symptoms, please feel free to experiment. Feel free to reclaim your health. All right then, and this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And as always guys, much love and peace.